good afternoon and welcome to Tuesdays with Annette. It's home ec with Annette time and we're going to be cooking a fabulous recipe which is the red salmon potato pie. It's a fabulous recipe but what we need to do before we get into anything else is we've got to get our potatoes in the microwave. So we need to get them ready and in there before we go into everything else. So firstly, you know what we've got to do, because if you're cooking with me, we need to be over at the sink washing our hands. So let's do that. Give it a bit of a wash. We've got, you know, the whole 20 second thing is really important. And look, I'm sending all my love to those in lockdown. I mean, you know, this is great. You can actually, you know, spend some time with me when you're normally too busy to. So don't forget, Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's time with me. <laughs> well, just take care of yourselves. And we're thinking everybody in Melbourne and Victoria and even Sydney, come on, you know, it's just not good, is it? All right, I'm ready. Hands are clean. Now, you've got your 750 grams of potatoes like I ever hope. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get my, my rubbish bin and we need to peel our potatoes and then we'll chat and talk about everything else once we've got them in. So we're going to peel them. So get your potatoes and I'm going to be quick here. So, you know, keep going with me. Peel your spuds. And we're going to dice them up and I want to show you how I do when I'm doing potato, I don't have time to wait. So when I do it, I actually dice them really small. So this means there's less time waiting for them to cook. So now I want to tell you, you know, you've got to really be careful with potatoes because if you get a green potato or you've had them in your cupboard for a while, just remember green potatoes are dangerous. You know, they contain high levels of toxin, um, so, uh, solanine, I think it's called. And what that does is it can give you really bad headaches and make you sick. I know. So green, we do not do green potatoes, chuck them out, it's not worth it. So get your potatoes peeled like I'm doing, and then we're going to chop them up. Now if you notice you've got a little um, uh, peeler like mine and you think, What's that little hook on the end? It's for scooping in, yeah, to get those eyes out of the potatoes. Did you know that? <laughs> now, I am a fan of potatoes. You know, people give them a bad rap because they are a carbohydrate. But, you know what? Potatoes themselves are actually a wonder food because they're really, um, yes, they're carbs, but it's how you cook them. That's right. It's how you cook your spuds that makes all the difference. So if you're deep frying them, smother them with cream, packing them with salt and uh, bucket loads of cheese or whatever, and butter, you're changing the whole story with potatoes. So potatoes themselves, good carb, and you know, carbs are energy. So, you know, I don't think they're a bad food to have. It's just making sure you cook them the healthy way. And I'll show you how to do a healthy mash because we're doing the red salmon pie. I mean, the uh, potato pie, if you've just joined me, hello. We're just peeling our spuds to get ready for them to go in the microwave. All right, so now I'm gonna take my dirty potatoes over to the sink and I'm gonna wash them. So come over to the sink, give them a wash. That's it. Bring them back over. And now, let's dice them. I've got my microwave dish here ready to go. So let's put that over here. Get my fabulous sharp Neofam knife. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them into strips. And then, it's kind of like you're doing potato chips in a way, because then, look at that small dice. Cut them into strips. And that way, it will cook really quickly. Even still, by doing the potato in the small dice, it's going to take 10 minutes on high to cook them. So, once again, cut them in strips 
or slices. And the idea is I'm all about quick. Let's get this dinner done and on the dinner table to enjoy. And what I love about this recipe is that, I mean, I, I'm a fan of salmon. Uh, and it's this, you know, really, salmon is so good for you. Let me put this in my, all the dices in there. And the idea is we're going to get these in the microwave and then we can start talking about all the things we need to know about today's show. Yeah, so thanks for joining me today. I'm excited to be doing home ec with Annette. This is a great chance for me to teach you some skills. I had a lady comment to me the other day how she really had no idea how to chop an onion up until she'd watched the show. So hello, if you've just joined me, I'm here chopping up my spuds. We're doing small dice. We're gonna microwave with a little bit of water, probably half fill the dish. Don't do too much, because otherwise it takes just forever for even that water to uh, heat up. And last potato for me. So remember, this was 750 grams of potato. And we're dicing. Now, the thing is, you can get this recipe if you want on the website. So if you've just joined me and you're thinking, well, gee, I don't have book four because this is where it is. It's also in cooking for one or two. So you can actually make this for four people or you can make it for two in the Cooking for One or Two book. All right, we're almost done. I hope you're keeping up with me because I'm trying to do this pretty quickly because we need to get them cooking. Notice I put a sponge under my chopping board and that's a really good way of keeping it from moving and securing. So there we go. There's all our spuds diced and ready. So I'm going to now half fill it with water we're going to microwave it on high for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, boom. All right, so welcome to the show. <laughs> We've got our potatoes in and so let's just catch up. So glad you're here with me because this is the recipe um, books that we're going to be using today. Book four and also it's in cooking for one or two. Now let me show you the salmon potato pie. So this is what we're making out of book four. And this was my mum, bless her little soul, we lost her last year, little old 90 year old, she did well. Um, but this was her favorite. And she would used to often make the sauce and freeze it and then just do mashed potato on the side when she was, you know, cause she was living on her own. But so dedicating the show to me mum, good old Faye and uh, it's just a lovely recipe for me too. I just love salmon. All right, now our winners from last week's show were very excited and they won a copy of book six because we did the apple berry pie. And they posted their pictures because that's how you win on the show. You like, share, and then you post the pictures. So I'm dying to see your red salmon potato pie recipes this week. And you can put it on any time during the week. It's today that I choose. So every Tuesday I pick the winners. So Deborah Donnelly is very happy. Vicky Goodrich, well done Vicky, and Carol Jackson all did the what they did, put the photo on, and they have won. So you're getting a person signed copy on your way. So let's look at what we need for this recipe. So I've got my cooking spray because I'm using the nice rice brand spray because it really works well with the really good quality pans. Now, if you're looking here, you're gonna see I've got a red pan today, and I'm super excited to tell you that yes, we have the Neoflam range now on my website from today. So you can get the beautiful set of pans, it comes in two, this is the 28 centimeter, and you can also get the 24 with it, plus a fabulous bonus gift as well, and my fabulous wok that you've seen me using over the show they're there now too, and I just love them that much. That's why I put them on, and crazy prices, I've got to tell you. I love a good deal. All right, so now what we're going to use is we're going to, we've got the chopping board already because of the potatoes, but we're going to have to chop up some onion and parsley. So let's look at the ingredients. 
We need uh, onion, so we're going to do half a cup of diced onion. We've got some um, low-fat cheese here, and we're going to grate that and put that on the top of the potato at the end, and we need a quarter of a cup, or 25 grams. You've got half a teaspoon of garlic. We've got the big can, which is, what is it? It's a four 15 gram can of red salmon. I will tell you variations as we go, so hang with me, but that's what we need. We've got some evaporated milk, some skim milk, some of the craft Parmesan. I've got my parsley from the fresh out of my garden, cor uh, corn flour, and we've got a little bit of pepper, and that's it, and the taties. All right, so what we need is our pan, We've got a grater, I've got a whisk, spoons, fork and spoon, can opener, you know, teaspoon and tablespoon measures, and of course my trusty masher that I'm going to mash up the potato once it's cooked. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to dice up. So get your onion out and let's get that done. Now we only need half a cup. So I'm going to just probably just put that to the side, we don't really need that much. And do you know, the thing that I love about this fantastic recipe is it's so easy to make, but it tastes fabulous. I mean, it's just, um, I don't know, I, I love it so much um, because it's hearty, it's beautiful. We've got the mash on the top and all you need to do then is put your veggies or salad on the side. Now, as you know, so I'm doing the Annette chopping here. So we need to dice and we want half a cup. So get your onion done. I think that looks pretty fabulous. Now I've got my measure cup here. Let's have a look. Thanks for joining me today. We're in making the um, red salmon potato pie out of book four. And uh, you know, if you want, you can go onto the website and get that recipe if you uh, don't have book four or cooking for one or two. And this, the one I'm doing is out of book four and it makes enough for four people, okay? So now I'm going to uh, grate my cheese. All right, so we need a quarter of a cup. So the idea is we're gonna do it all up, ready to go, because it's really quite quick to cook it. There's not much to it. Um, so let's prep everything up. So we want the cheese. And I like freshly grated because I think it, especially because we're putting it on top of the potato, it seems to melt better and spread a bit better. I feel like we get more because I'm not giving you a lot because it's all about, you know, the, having less fats in your diet. That's looking great. So my cheese is good. Let's put that back, clean up. And then what we're gonna do is the parsley. Now, we're, all we're doing really is onion, parsley, and grated cheese. So that's how hard this is. I mean, you've just had to chop your potato up ahead um, and get that in. And that way then we'll meet together when the sauce is done and the potato's done. So get your parsley, we want a tablespoon. And I'm just going to, remember I crunch it all up. If you've been watching the show, we've had a parsley in a few recipes lately. And of course, this is fresh out of my garden, of course. How fabulous. Now, the, the trick is holding that knife. And that gives you lots more pressure. So you can really chop it up. Look, there we go. Fantastic. All right, so I'm going to actually put that over here. I'm going to clear up my mess. I'm such a messy cook because I do, I'm quick. So I'm giving you a chance to catch up on me. <laughs> so we've done our cheese. Have you got that done? Grated the cheese. Then we've got our onion diced and parsley chopped. Now what I want to do with you is I want you to get your measure cup out because I'm going to add the two milks together. So you use, use a can of evaporated light milk and half a cup of skim milk. Now if, for example, you're lactose free or you know you go dairy free, then it's an easy way to change it. It's can, they'll get the bottle of milk out that I love. This is the milk that I love because I've gone a bit dairy free lately 
and I've discovered this one and I've showed you on the show before but this is the alternate that I love and this almond milk is, is really rich and I think it's a great replacement for evaporated milk and so I use this so half a cup of this and 375 mils of this because you want the exact uh, liquid and you've got dairy free and of course you'd use the dairy free cheese as well but don't forget if you do have an issue with dairy free I've launched my vanilla shakes remember my dairy free vanilla which are a bit fabulous so lots to check out on the website today all right so we're going oh I should do the uh, no I'll do it this way I should have measured the milk first but that's okay I can measure it again so we've put our evaporated milk in and I'm just going to measure half a cup of skim milk there we go now these go in together so put them in together for me then you get your corn flour and you'll put in um, three tablespoons yes so get this remember it's a 15 mil if you don't have my spoons remember that the Australian ones can be 20 so we want one two three perfect all right so then you'll get your whisk mix them together and we'll put that in in a moment but what we're going to do is we're going to start cooking the onion how's our microwave potatoes doing oh they're looking good actually you know um, if you don't like red salmon what you can do is replace it with pink. Now the fat count of red salmon is 11.8 per serve because salmon is quite high in fat but it's good healthy fats. You've got the pink salmon which is a little bit lower in fat believe it or not than the red and it's only 9.7 grams of fat so it's a little bit less and tuna in the spring water not in the oil is 6.8 grams of fat but if you're really not into the fishy side of things you can always replace it with chicken and so dice up about 500 grams of skinless chicken breast for this recipe and then cook it okay this is for four people cook it in the pan first and take it out because you need it cooked and add it in when you're putting the salmon in you'll notice I'll do the salmon in a minute and so that's a really good variation and the other variation I know I've just got so much happening here where's my can opener where is it Bill have you moved my can opener oh here it is <gasps> here it is all right so what I want to do is I'm going to now drain get your salmon we don't want the liquid from the salmon in this recipe and if you want to really increase your calcium which really is a great idea with tin salmon pink or red is that you crush the bones in and you know, no, don't, I remember as a kid, I used to hate getting that lump of hard bone in there. But what you do is you crush it all up in and no one will know it's there. So there's my salmon draining, fabulous. Our mash is ready, so let's get it out. All right. So I'm gonna come back to that in a minute because I want to um, uh, show you how to do that. But I want to get cooking the sauce first and then we'll do the mash because you might be a bit later than me in the recipe. So let's get out. Oh, here we go. My beautiful new pan. Very excited. Let's turn it on. Oh, I've got it, got it plugged in today. What's going on? <laughs> now, this is what you're going to do. You're going to turn your heat on. I'm also going to turn my grill on and have that ready because we don't bake this. This is the thing, that's why I'm trying to get it all at a good level for you, is we're gonna make the sauce and the, or the filling and then we're gonna mash the potato, put it on top while it's still hot and then cheese under the grill. So this is what I like about this one, you don't even have to have your oven on. So the good quality spray and in goes your onion and your half teaspoon of garlic okay this is such a great recipe and if you haven't tried it before you know please give it a go because 
you know, even if you go, I'm not really big on, on salmon, you might enjoy it. But as I've told you, there's other variations you can do, remember? All right. I'm sorry? Yes, in the, if you're doing cooking for one or two, the chicken will be 250 grams, 275 even maybe would be all right. But always cook it ahead first. Now, the other thing you can do if you're just saying, oh, I'm sorry, I just don't do carbs. Well, I'm sorry, you know what? That's brain food, honey. You need carbohydrates. And so healthy carbs are perfect. But I do have, in Cooking Corner 2, I talk about it there, where you actually can use cauliflower mash. So instead of 750 grams of potato, get 750 grams of cauliflower and just boil it up like you do the potato and just mash it. Mash it, mash it, mash it. I find the stick blend is really good for doing cauliflower so you get it. No one will know the difference. It's fantastic. All right, so now what we do, because remember I've got this all ready to go, in goes the milk. So you cook your onion and your garlic just for a couple of minutes. There you go. We now put in the parmesan, which is just uh, two tablespoons. One, two. So it gives, the sauce is really flavoursome. So hello, if you've joined me just now, well, I'm, I've got um, the, everything going here. It's the red potato salmon uh, pie, and uh, it's out of book four and cooking for two. We want a tablespoon of uh, parsley. So give this a cook up. So all I've done is really just cook the onion and the garlic. So are you up with me? Then we've added in the corn flour with the evaporated milk and the skim milk. Yep, and this will thicken up. And then what we do is we add in the salmon. So that's why I've drained it ahead. And I actually get in with my fingers and break it up. Because you don't want big chunks of salmon. And this is where you would crush up the bones as you're coming to them. Now remember you can use the pink salmon, you can use tuna, and I've just told you as well how to do it with chicken. All right, let me just wash my hands. Okay. So this is our sauce, and I've got my dish here ready. So you want a small lasagna or casserole dish. And once this is boiled, we pour it in, and then we're going to focus on our mash. So this is, um, look, salmon has got so many benefits to it, um, but you know what? Think about it. Vitamin D, protein, this is salmon for you. The calcium from the bones, as I said, are really good. Healthy omega-3 fats, this is what I love about salmon. It's really great for heart health. But potatoes, you know what? They may contain the carbs, but they have a lot going for them. It's really, you know, how you cook them. Like if, you know, remember I said keep them low in fat? But they have more potassium. Potatoes have more potassium. I'm sorry, I'm pointing at this. But the potatoes have more potassium than bananas. Who knew? All right, so now I'm going in, pouring my sauce in. Oh, look at this beautiful sauce. And we're going to remember we're going to do our potato top. Or you could do the cauliflower if you want. Look at how that pan, nothing sticks. I'm so in love with them. Let's remove our cookware, cook pot or cooker. Because what's left is our potatoes. Now I'm going to give you a, a tip here. I always, obviously strain my potatoes, but I pour hot water over them to get the starch off. So, over to the sink, pour your potato in. Now, you could run your hot water, but I've just boiled the kettle before we started, so it's super quick. And now I'm going to pour the hot water over them because I want to keep them hot still. Give it a shake, wash it again, and drain. And this is going to help you because 
I find with starchy potatoes, it gets a bit gluggy when you mash them. Have you ever noticed that before? All right, so here I am shaking the water off. In they go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is our last thing. You've got another tablespoon ready. We want two tablespoons of skim milk to help mash it up. This is a very low fat way to do mash. A lot of people put so much butter and some of people even put cream in. And see to me, that's just not good health at all. It's making it high in fat. So now mash, that's right. Um, Margaret's, hello Margaret, asking what type of pan it is. Well, it's called Neoflam. That's the company, they're all eco-friendly pans and I just think they're the best things in sliced bread because they're non-stick and non-scratch. So look, you know what you can do? They're there now on my website. That's right, the pans and the wok is there now. And with the pans, I'm giving you a free gift. I know. And if you look at what the recommended retail is, you're gonna love me even more. So check them out. Go to simplytogood.com.au. All right, me taties are ready. How are yours going? So I'm gonna bring in my beautiful base and you get a fork and a spoon. And now what we do, this is really, watch how you do this, okay? Because if you just throw that whole big lump on there, it's gonna sink in. Just put in bits of your potato mash. Look how fluffy this is. Spread it around. And I'll show you how to finish it off in the end. But see how I'm just breaking it up into smaller pieces. I love cooking with you guys. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope that you're learning lots of good things on our Tuesdays with Annette, because that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's the cooking class. And um, for those of you in lockdown, this is a great way to get the kids cooking for you as well and learning how easy it is to do healthy and fabulous. I mean, when you look at this, I mean, who knew weight loss could be so deliciously healthy? We're talking red salmon, potato pie. All right, so now I've got that there and you just get with your fork and just move it around. We're gonna put this under the grill. I like to keep it a bit rustic. I don't want it smooth, I want it sitting up like that. And the last thing, hello, remember we did the cheese? And sprinkle it over the top. Oh my gosh, are you excited about this for dinner tonight? Because I know I am. I'm gonna do veggies with mine. I'm gonna do some broccoli and carrots. And what you do now is you get it under the grill. So I've already turned it on, remember? Put it under. And once that cheese has melted and gone lovely and brown, ready to serve. So that's the recipe for today. Now let's think about it. Do you want to win a book? Well, you can actually win either book four or cooking one or two. It's really your choice. So you just need to like, share, and in the comments, You've got to put your photo, that's right, put your red salmon potato pie, or even if you've done it in a variation, I'd love to see it. And then you might be a winner and get a personally signed copy of the book. Now, Tuesday, no, Thursday, I'm back in the kitchen. I know I love it, get my apron on. And I'm going into book four. And if you like the word chocolate, well, hello, you're welcome. So I'm doing my rich chocolate squares out of book four. You have to be here, it's so deliciously fabulous. Super easy to make. Then next Tuesday, we're gonna be back in the kitchen for our home ec with Annette, and I'm gonna be doing an old classic. I'm sorry, I'm bringing back the oldies but goodies, and it's the bread and butter pudding. Oh my gosh, you know what? It is such a great recipe. It's Billy's favorite, he's super excited to get it on Tuesday. Now, if you want any more tips or recipes or wanna go about the pans, check out at simplytogood.com.au. And um, what I might do is, I think it'll take a little while for that to melt, yes. So how about we leave it here, I'll get Diane, we'll take a photo of it and we'll put it in the comments like you're gonna do when you do your recipe. So there you go, red potato salmon pie and I have loved making that for you. I hope you enjoy it. 
It's just a spoonful of deliciousness. I'll catch you on Thursday. Take care. Bye now.